All right, so binary algebra is uh, mathematics of two values, binary numbers, 0 and 1, or anything else that you want. Uh, we typically use 0 and 1 in computing to indicate the presence or absence of voltage in an electrical circuit. Uh, but binary algebra can be uh, 1 and 0. What's the difference? Well, this is the presence and this is the absence of voltage. We can use any symbol to represent anything we want. This could be, you know, triangles and diamonds, or it could be red and blue, or it could be anything that we want. The point is that there are two values, and those two values uh, are going to be all we have access to in our mathematics. So this is in contrast to base 10 mathematics, where we have 10 symbols, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 9. Uh, and with 10 symbols, there's lots of different things you can do. Uh, what we usually do in a base 10 uh, kind of mathematics is we have different places, and each of these places corresponds to some power of 10. So this would be, if we have 386, uh, this is 3 times 10 to the 2, or 3 times 100, or 300, plus 8 times 10 to the 1, or 8 times 10, or 80, plus 6 times 10 to the 0. And this is how we represent place value. In binary, we can't do that because we only have two uh, values, 0 and 1. And if we start counting, uh, we will have a 0 in the first place value, and then a 1 in the first place value, and then we run out of possibilities for the first place value. So the second place value has to give us some number of uh, 2. So this looks like 10, but it's 2. And then this is 3, and this is 4, and this is 5, and on like that. So what we find is that the first place value isn't a power of 10 anymore, it's a power of 2. So the first place value is going to give us 2, uh, something to the power of, uh, 2 to the power of something. And it's going to be 2 to the power of 0, and then 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and on like this. These are going to be our place values for binary numbers. So this is, as an example, 1 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0. 2 to the power of 0. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 2 is 2, but there isn't any of it because we're multiplying by 0. And 2 to the power of 0 is 1, so it's 4 plus 1 is 5. This is the way we do math in computers, is each, each bit or each uh, binary digit corresponds to a power of 2. Now, it doesn't have to be that way. They can correspond to anything they want to, but <clears throat> when we first enumerate them, uh, they're going to be powers of 2 because that gives us the most simple direct relationship between a binary string and a number that we're interested in. Uh, as we'll see later, there are lots of other ways to take a binary string and interpret it as a value of some kind, whether we interpret that as a value for um, a number that is negative, or a number that is a decimal place, or a number that is um, represents a color, or a smell, or anything else, right? These binary numbers can represent anything that they want to. So in base 2, <clears throat> well, in any base, if we expand this idea, because now we've got base 10, 10 to the power of something, and we've also got base 2, 2 to the power of something, we can have any base. We can have base 7 numbers, or base 13 numbers, or base a million numbers, it doesn't matter. Each uh, base that you're talking about needs that many symbols to represent it. Base 10 numbers needs 10 symbols to represent. Base 2 numbers needs 2 symbols to represent. So if we had a base 16 number, 16 to the power of k, which we'll get to later, but it's a good example to use for now because we do use base 16 in computing from time to time. We call it hexadecimal. So this is decimal or base 10, this is binary, or base 2, and 16 is hexadecimal. So we need 16 symbols in order to represent a base 16 number. What symbols should we use? Well, we use 0 through 9 uh, by convention, and then we start counting after that. Now, we can't use the number 10 because that's 
two symbols, a one and a zero. So instead, we use some other symbol. Now you could use any symbols you want, but we are going to use letters uh, A through F. So zero through nine correspond to zero through nine. A is 10 and F is 15. And then if we count up to 15, the next number is going to be 16, uh, which is a one zero is 16. So one zero in base 16 is the same as 16 in base 10 and is the same as uh, one zero 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 in base two. How do I know that? Well, this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three, and two to the power of four, which is 16. So different bases, different ways of representing the same number in those uh, representations. This is a really important thing to be able to do, and I would strongly encourage you to practice uh, by taking some random number and converting it back and forth between decimal and binary. Base uh, 16 hexadecimal will do in more detail later on. Uh, there are good reasons for using it, but for now, uh, don't worry too much about it. Uh, we'll just get started with decimal and binary. So I will give you some numbers, and you will convert them from base 10 to base 2, or from base 2 into base 10 to know for sure that you can do these things. So um, let's see. Uh, let's see. We'll do uh, 26 in base 10 is equal to what in base 2? Uh, we'll do um, 12 in base 10 is equal to what in base 2? And then we'll do uh, 11010 in base 2 is equal to what in base 10? And uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 <laughs> base 2 is equal to what in base 10? Try these exercises, and in the next video, we'll give you the answers.